All right, The Hurricane by Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan's not screwing around when he starts uh, when he starts this song. Pistol shots ring out in a barroom night. The drama starts out at a tent, right? He opens up right away um, using imagery, using characterization, uh, and using just tremendous detail to describe the story of Reuben Carter. Pistol shots ring out in a barroom night. Then we meet our first character right away, Patty Valentine, a woman who sees a bartender lying in a pool of blood. She cries out, my God, they've killed them all. So it's very dramatic right from the beginning through the use of imagery, crying out, a pool of blood. These are things we can hear, things we can see. Um, then Dylan lets the listener and the reader know what's coming. Here comes the story of the hurricane. So he's setting up the rest of the story just in this first stanza alone. Um, he's using rhyme, as you know, he's using rhythm because it's a song, obviously. Uh, but he's also developing characters throughout this entire story. He's using dialogue and imagery to do that. We talked about the pool of blood in the first stanza. Um, the second stanza is another great example. He introduces another character, a man named Bello, who he describes as walking around mysteriously. Uh, the way that second stanza ends, another great example of the use of imagery. They call the cops, and then Dylan says they arrive on the scene with their red lights flashing in the hot New Jersey night and we can hear those sirens. We can see the red lights cutting through the dark, the darkness of the night. Um, as, as this plays out, it plays out like a story. It plays out um, detail after detail. It's really a narrative poem in addition to it being a song. That's what makes it so brilliant. It's a story, it's a poem, it's all of these things. Uh, it really, like I said, plays out like a story. Pay attention to the details that he goes through in each stanza. By the third stanza, he's already introduced several characters, but now for the first time we meet Reuben Carter. He also does something else for the first time. He introduces race as a major part of Reuben Carter's story. In Patterson, that's just the way things go. If you're black, you might as well not show up in the street unless you wanna draw the heat. We know the background of this story. We know how much race was involved. Reuben Carter knows race is involved. The police know race is involved. Patty Valentine and Bradley and Bello, no race is involved. Bob Dylan's making sure that the reader and the listener understands how big a role race plays in this story. Moving on to stanza four, we're learning more about other, other characters. We see Patty Valentine again, we see Bello again, we meet Bello's partner, Bradley. Uh, in stanza five, another great use of imagery. In fact, this scene in the movie, which I'll play for you a little bit later on uh, this week, um, this is a tremendous scene in the movie. We have a dying man trying to identify the shooter through his one dying eye. Uh, it's a great scene. Stanza six, it's now four months later. So Bob Dylan has used five stanzas to tell us about just a couple of hours uh, that took place this night in New Jersey. Moving on to stanza six, four months later, the police are still looking for the killer and uh, the cops are now firing question after question at uh, Bradley. Remember that murder that you saw in a bar Remember, you said you saw the getaway car. Do you think you'd like to play ball with the law? Think it might have been that fire you saw running through the night. Don't forget that you are white. Again, introducing race as an important role in the story and question after question. You can, you can imagine um, you know, this scene taking place in a movie or in a television show. Uh, how many scenes have you seen like that where you have somebody sitting, sitting there with the cops and the cops just firing question after question after them. Sierra, uh, yesterday in her response, said something that reminded me of something that I thought as well. It reminds me of the scene in um, When They See Us, where the kids are sitting there in the police station and the police are just firing question after question after question at them. Um, so you can imagine how this plays out. We now get to a major turning point in the story. Uh, the police are doing something here. They are pushing Bradley and Bellow to do something. The lyric is, you'll be doing society a favor. That son of a bitch is brave and getting braver. What are they trying to do? What do they want Bradley and Bellow to do? Okay, we're going to stop here today. You've got plenty of questions to answer. Uh, and we're going to finish this poem, this narrative poem, this great song by Bob Dylan. We're going to finish this tomorrow. If you have any questions, contact.